To show off their new Bluetooth 5 chips, Nordic Semiconductor developed this. They call it the thingy. It's got all the features of an eval kit built into this thingy. Based on Nordic's NRF52832, this little chip can communicate using Bluetooth Low Energy and, and proprietary 2.4 GHz protocols. And when it comes to processing power, it's no slouch either. With a built-in 32-bit ARM Cortex CPU, 512 kilobytes of flash, and 64 kilobytes of RAM. As you'd expect from Nordic, it's extremely power efficient. The radio has an output power of up to plus 4 dBms and a receive sensitivity of minus 96 dBms. Alright, enough about the chip. Let's see what this thingy can do. To switch it on, take off the bottom part of the cover and look for the little power switch next to the USB connector. Turn that to on and you'll see the LED on the top left corner starts to flash. Next, grab your phone and launch the Nordic Thingy app. Choose Add a new thingy. Select the first thingy that comes up and hit Done. Now the nice thing about this kit is that it's got a bunch of built-in sensors that you can play with. Under Services, you can see all the different things you can do with the thingy. Choosing environments, you can see things like the temperature, the pressure, percentage humidity, and there's even a built-in CO2 sensor. Some of these things are charted down below. Looking at the user interface, you can change the color of the LED that's on the thingy. Just select the different colors, and you can see it changes instantly on the thingy. Motion allows you to play with the built-in accelerometer. The 3D option is pretty cool and it shows you a little 3D model of the thingy as you move it in real time. Pretty neat. If you actually want to look at the data that's output by the accelerometer, you can look at this gravity vector. As you move the thingy, you can see the different values changing. The sound menu allows you to play with a little microphone and a built-in speaker that's in the thingy. Here's an evil laugh. The piano allows you to play different notes. And there's a few different sample sounds that you can also play. In the next video, I'll show you how to use some of the thingy's more advanced features, like the Eddystone beacon, the web services, and how to update the firmware.